All right. What's up, everybody? So, <clears throat> it looked like a wholesome, don't it? It looked like a hyper go, right? <laughs> it's a storm four wheel drive. This is a bootleg. This is like a bootleg DVD from the bodega right here. $75 for a brushless system. I believe it's 3,200 uh, kV. Let's see what it's talking about. So, out the bat, <laughs> this shit is too fun. Out the bat, they already they already lined about a whole bunch. They was talking about it had oil shocks, no oil shocks, straight friction dampers. It was talking about um, foam in the tire. There ain't no foam in the tire. This shit is garbage. <laughs> this shit is garbage. I think. $75? Maybe I can deal. This thing is super fun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 75? And it was like an Amazon uh, discount too. For like 50% off. Look like they trying to ask for 150 for this joint. At least that's what they trying to trick me into thinking. I'd be damn if I spend 150 for this shit. Man. That's got a brushless motor in it. So it ain't, it ain't terrible. Oh my God. Doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound like the, just the way that everything is meshed up, like the gears are meshed up, but it just doesn't sound right. I don't know. I don't know. break any seconds. <laughs> I, I don't $75. It might be all right. Suspension is garbage. They most definitely lied about the suspension. But yeah, one thing that really made me want to get this, besides the $75 brushless 116 car that says it can go 42 miles an hour, is that when I look closer at it, it seems to have the, uh, it's like uh, the legend legendary Sonic and the Besgar, uh, 
HM16. Uh, it seems to have that chassis. I think that's a pretty tough chassis. Actually, um, my best guard version of it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's very stuttered. Um, but yeah, my best guard version of that. I actually uh, had that car run over by a, a real life actual car. And I'm talking about that. Like, every part of it was run over. Full on all the tire over the whole thing. But the, the chassis survived. The wheels crack and smash, but the chassis actually survived. So I'm a fan of the chassis. But then they were also just lying. Amazon was over here lying. Talk about foam filled tires, oil filled shocks. All lies. Tell me sweet lies. But right now I can't decide what the fuck is up with this. Because I mean, hey, I done bought. WPL toys for 75 uh, bucks. You know, like the C24 and the, the B12. Those are not the best quality cars. I mean, they're pretty cheap and toy grade. And I'm happy with those, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It's got the light, too. It's pretty dope. Turn it on and off. best bootleg movie I ever got was Paper Soldiers from Kevin Hart Sean and uh, Charlie Murphy man I got that shit at a bodega super cheap good quality and I must have watched a billion times I tell you this car ain't bad I'm not hitting it for 75 It's not a, uh, a cog or anything. It's like a, a little delay. I don't know. It's like a jutter. <laughs> I don't know how, how to describe it. This shit has got a little pep there. It's got a little pep. Let's see how it does over here in the wilderness. Up a wilderness. Not hating it. It's all put over. I knew they was lying about something. It was just too good to be Honestly, I'd be surprised if this didn't break on its first battery pack. And by the way, this is not the stock battery pack. This is um actually the battery that came with the uh, legendary Sonic. It's a legendary or legs on that wire. Fuck this shit. I'm, I'm not even playing. $75, including tax. $75, including tax? I'm not. I fox with it. It's kind of like a Jiminy situation. 
I'd be mad as hell if I spent three hundred dollars on a Jiminy. But thirty-five dollars on a Jiminy—that's my jam. Seventy-five dollars for this? Fuck yeah! All day, every day. And it's funny, cause like when I ordered it, it was it was a gamble. So the whole time I was like, should I just cancel this order? You know what I'm saying? Like save my money, get something a little better. And I was like. Take a gamble. It looked like it'd be all right. Uh oh, that ain't gonna get out of there. But anyway, so oh, better get low. <laughs> so I would check it. So yeah, I checked the fucking uh, order because I was thinking about maybe I'll just cancel it. And I, I placed the order overnight. I woke up the next morning, still thinking about canceling it. I went to cancel it and realized that it went up even uh, $10 extra, no, $20 extra overnight. So the previous night it was $69.99 with like 50% off deal or some shit. The next morning it was like a 40% off deal and it was like $89.99 for this thing. So I don't know if it's still going to be uh, cheap by the time this video posts. But uh, $75 when it's all said and done, I fucks with it, son. All right. <clears throat> Not too shabby. Not terrible at all. Man, this thing does feel cheap, though. Look at this, though. Look at that paint job. How off center that window paint is just compared to like the cutting of the plastic. But whatever. Put that up there. Alright, so this is what we got going on in the inside here. It's a um 2845 3200 kV motor. 60 amp ESC. 60 amp ESC? I think it's reading 60 amp ESC. Okay, and real quick, I want to show you how similar this is to the, uh, where is it? Let me go get it. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's see. Put these side by side here. Now to the left here is the legendary Sonic slash Bezgar HM16, I, I believe. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. Very similar. I got this stupid thing, so it's kind of hard to see what's happening here, but. Let me uh, take this off. Let's try this. Okay, so on the uh, the Garnick is what I call it. The Garnick has a 35 amp ESC. Kind of want to switch these ESCs out now. Um, I don't know what this motor is. I'm assuming it's the same thing, but it may be a little less. Uh, I got the three wire servo. But if you see back here, that pretty much looks the same there. It's like the same pieces, the same dimensions, maybe a little bit different molding, but it's pretty much the same. Like those arms are the same on this side too. Although I can't tell if this plastic is a little bit thicker. I think this is a little bit thicker here. Yeah, and this is thinner. I think this plastic is thinner and this is thicker. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. This is the front. You know what I mean? It's like, it's the same damn thing. So the differences are the amp, uh, the motor, the tires, the front uh, light assembly situation. These are like halfway oil shocks. You can put oil in them, but they're not the best. These are just friction. And 
Looks like they both have the CVDs in the front and the uh, dog bones in the back. But yeah, it's the same, pretty much the same damn thing. The same damn thing. You know? Oh, that look a little different, actually. But you see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's very minor differences. Like, just the way that protrudes out a little bit more, and that doesn't. But it's still the same damn thing, I think. But anyway. All right, so real quick, this car came with a few extra things here. So, the car itself came with... Uh, controller which is like the mgx the uh the hyper go whatever controllers um but there is no screw in the clip it comes with two of these batteries these are uh 1200 milliamp a lot of bangs comes with two of them joints comes with the manual Yeah, these look like all Bezgar parts. That diff, diff I'm, I'm hoping I can swap the diff out. Cause I, I, I have like three of those Bezgars, so I got extra diffs. So if I can swap the diffs, awesome. Uh, what we got here? We got two chargers, the other battery, I'm curious how they came packed here. Eighty one. Eighty percent. So they came charged. Even though this is the battery that I, I used. That's uh a one thousand milliamp. Uh, so two batteries in a charger. Pretty good. 75 smackers. I fought with it so far. And then look at all this extra shit here. Uh, another wing and uh, connector plate for the spare body that came with it. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, another shock. But yeah, th these shocks, <laughs> they lying. Ain't no oh yeah. Ain't no oh yeah. They have this, which I'm wondering how the hell to use this. Cause I might be able to. What's. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to get a bigger battery in there for sure. For sure, that'd be dope. But I mean, yeah, this thing can't handle the power anyway. So it gives me two extra CVDs. And why are these looking like some W.O. Toys joint? Like they might work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, these are the two things for the roof assembly or the skid plate. Some spacers. Hell yeah, I was hoping they'd give me some extra pins. Four of them or three? Four extra pins. Oh yeah, these look solid. I gotta say, this all looks solid. Like these are decent parts. Uh, $75, I say, <laughs> man, you know what? I think maybe even uh, under 90, maybe even under 90. That's a decent motor in amp. I mean, 60 amps. If you have some extra uh, shocks, oil shocks lying around, it might be worth it. I mean, that's a lot of extra shit. Extra body too. 
All right, so the lies they did, no foam in the wheels. It really doesn't feel like it. Um, no oil shocks, they talking about that. And I don't know. Does that sound metal? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that could be plastic. I can't tell, I can't tell. But uh, yeah, man, 75 bucks, including the tax. I fuck with it. I'm happy. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.